Hi Pisces, welcome to a week ahead tarot spread for August 3rd through the 9th. It's raining here. I got this spread from the Emerald Lotus Divination people. Thank you to them for the idea for this spread. I, um, I kind of moved the bottom cards a little bit to the right so that you could see them better because of my you know, my uh, tripod the way it must be for the time being until I get a new one. And um, the cards that I'm using are from a new deck that I just got. This is kind of why I'm, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm doing this reading is because I want to try out these cards. I, the first night I got them, I was like, oh, I'm going to do a reading. But then I kind of wait until the next day. The Light Sears Tarot just for people who are interested in that. So I'm going to begin. Um, oh, before I begin, there's going to be a full moon on August 3rd at 11 degrees of Aquarius. Now, for those of you who are born in uh, February, and I think this is, yeah, I, basically for people born in February, this is going to be in your 11th house of hopes and wishes. So this could bring some long desired wish to come true, you know, to fruition. And for some of you, this might be the end of a friendship. Um, and by the way, uh, that doesn't have to be a bad thing. This may just be a natural outgrowing of a person or a group. This could be a group of people in your life and it's time for you to move on. You have other people that you feel more like you have more in common with. So that could be what that's for some of you. If you're born in March as a Pisces, this will affect your 12th house and this is the house that you rule. So that's very good. Now, um, this, you're familiar with this place. This is the Hermit's house. You may, this is a house of dreams, but unlike the 11th house of the dreams that you're wishing for, this is the house of like dreams when you go night night. And so you might have um, a prophetic dream, something that illuminates your path coming from the 12th house, which is a house of karma, of past lives, and this can be letting go of a bad habit, letting go of something that is creating uh, obstacles for you in life. Full moon is a time of release. And the first card here is my week as a whole, and um, we have here the wheel. The wheel must be, because this is the first time I've drawn this card, the Wheel of Fortune, in the other decks. Yeah, it's number 10. And they might have shortened it. Let me see if you can see it up close. They might have shortened it to the wheel. Look, she's got dice. Um, or is it, which one is the um, singular? Die? <laughs> or is dice a singular? <laughs> I think it's, I think um, dice is the plural. Um, and that, you know, symbolizes luck. I think that maybe they called it the wheel just to talk about that idea of the cyclical nature of life. And so maybe you're feeling aligned with things at the moment. If you're having um, the full moon in the 11th house, you may feel like finally my dream has come true and I'm able to you know, reap the um, vision that I had, finally, after all this time. The second position is something unexpected that will arise, and we have the death card. And this is the first time I've gotten this card, too. Now, you notice here that they have rebirth listed. And this is the... Um, the symbol for infinity, the sideways eight. And if you remember in the 
you know, the, the uh, rider weight, which is the kind of the standard imagery, the um, strength card, or the lion, has, has that, I believe, and also the magician card. I mean, I hope I'm correct about that. But anyway, um, the point being that death and rebirth are one and the same. Um, you can't have rebirth without a death, and vice versa. Vice versa. And the wheel is about those different cycles. And when one cycle ends, another begins. So it's, you know, typically people didn't like to think of the death card because they thought it meant physical death, when in fact it can be transformation. And so an unexpected transformation perhaps connected to that full moon maybe maybe it will be a very potent experience for you Pisces because um, you know whether it falls in the 11th or the 12th house it can you know signal letting go of something that has been hindering you to make space for something that fulfills you the third position is how can I stay grounded and balanced? How can an advice card? Two of Cups. Um, this is the card of forgiveness. Very interesting. Um, I don't. I haven't really delved into the booklet, which is excellent, um, fully. So I don't know if she has a little section about how she came about her particular imagery. But I like all the colors here, and they made a point of showing a black hand and a white hand, and then they have this kind of rainbow colored water. Um, this is the card of commitment, and yes, um, probably what is what the symbolism is of the black and white is that whenever you have um, the number two, it can be a number of duality, so black and white is all about that, but it's kind of bringing it together. So the Two of Cups can be making a commitment to somebody, forgiving someone. So this is all about, these are forms of harmony, you know, not being apart, but being together. It could be reuniting with somebody, and Staying grounded, how do you stay grounded and balanced? Seeing how um, things that seem that they are disparate or not alike really are. So seeing the unity in things can help you. And I think, like, especially now, this is true for all of us, because um, whether it's something that we're seeing in the outside world that is screaming to us to be, you know, um, taking sides and things like that. Or if it's just feelings that are coming from within us, uh, these are natural, but it's very important to look beyond that because that can be very distracting and also create a lack of harmony. And that is not going to lead to groundedness for sure. Four, important emotion I will feel this week. I changed this to um, important lesson that I will learn or important message that I will receive this week. Seven of Swords. Because emotion, sometimes like this, for instance, this is a, a Swords card, which is more of the intellect, and that would be more of a lesson or a circumstance to me than an, an emotion. And the Seven of Swords can be a card of deception. It can be a card of um, even somebody who is stealing something. And so in terms of the message that you can receive, it's that, um, <clears throat> excuse me, even um, this may, like for instance, if the full moon is affecting that 11th house. Um, and even if it, you know, come to think of it, even if it affects the 12th house, this can be a house of secrets that, you know, full moon can bring things that have been hidden out in the open. So if you find out 
that somebody has been deceiving you, uh, Pisces. The first inclination is to feel hurt. It can be feeling embarrassment or even like physical theft. If you had any kind of physical theft, you may feel the sense of like um, disappointment in somebody's behavior or you may um, be feeling like the victim because of course you know we can look at somebody who gets something stolen from them as a victim but it's important to reflect to see if perhaps you ignored some signs not so that you can blame yourself but that so that you can um, say to yourself well next time I will see the signs more clearly I won't overlook certain things because I did see some of this I did see that some of my things were missing and I you know if I'm really honest with myself it did cross my mind that my so-called best friend um, who I know has addiction issues, might have done something, but I really didn't want to, you know, think like that because it kind of made me feel guilty to imagine that she would have done that. And then um, it leads to realizing um, that that has happened and perhaps... Um, you know, then it makes you feel more empowered in a way because you don't feel like, why does this always happen to me? Because you can nip it in the bud easier when you um, admit things to yourself, you know, right away. Okay. Something that will inspire you. And what do we have here? Ace of Cups. A new relationship that's why I was saying with the the two of cups are you getting back with somebody um, is this a new love that has come into your life isn't that beautiful the way that they do that but um I feel like with the two of cups maybe you're forgiving a, a person for cheating for instance and new love um, is right there. You know, nature abhors a vacuum. So you let go of somebody in love and new love comes in and that inspires you. If you are um, in the planning stages or if you're launching a healing practice or creating new artwork, then that would go along with that of um, being inspired by your new project, your new business. Six, how my spirit guides speak to me this week. I'm changing that to a message from my spirit guides instead of how they will speak to me this week. We have the Queen of Wands. This is a card of confidence coupled with sensitivity. This is the card of the career mother. So, um, you know, for instance, let's say you're starting a massage therapy business and you have your massage table. It's like have table will travel and you don't need a physical office. You're going to, you know, travel to people's homes or you're making space um, where people can visit you and you can be with your child. You don't have to um, be apart from your child. And you realize that now you have more freedom in this way. Wands are all about freedom. And um, so it can be something, you know, with the death card, um, you might let go of this feeling that life is against you. With the wheel, you know, sometimes you know, it, it might feel like the sense of alignment is yours. and um, Or maybe it's even a bit of luck in some way. And that, you know, gives you this feeling that the universe has your back. The seventh position is 
how to best support yourself this week. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of family money. This is a card of affluence. And if you feel like you don't resemble this card as of yet, just imagine yourself having this. If you do have money in reserve, maybe it is okay to have a nice dinner or buy your kids something um, and feel like you are, you know, um, working towards affluence and that this is just, you know, you've only just begun, but kind of embodying that in whatever way works for you. You know, they, they call it acting like it's already gotten here. And if you have this, oh, you know, with the death card, maybe you're getting an inheritance. This is an inheritance card. So uh, maybe you support yourself by advocating for yourself if there is some inheritance issue that you need to uh, contend with. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. Have a great week. Take care. Bye.